All right, well, we just had a little uh, minor emergency, but we solved it all, and we're not going to tell you about it, because, you know, that's for the premium viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Give us monies. <laughs> so, how do you feel about Russian literature, Lindsay? I love it so much. <laughs> you don't get along with Russian writers. W w what have you tried or read? Um, I read, what is it, Anna... Karina? Yeah, yeah, I read that. Kara, Karanina, Kara, and, Karina, Tolstoy. And I read Crime and Punishment. Uh -huh. And I swear, if the purpose of a book is to punish the readers, like, I didn't commit a crime. Why are you making me suffer? I don't understand. I did nothing to deserve that. Nothing. Right. <sighs> you know you're not enjoying a book when the, when the main character is contemplating suicide and you're sitting there going, do it! Do it! Do it! I've read books like that, but <laughs> not crime and punishment. Oh, I just really wanted him to jump off that bridge. I wanted it so bad. So bad. <laughs> My heartless cousin. <laughs> and uh, which country's literature is your favorite? Yugoslavian or Guatemalan? Or... Well, that's tricky because I don't pay attention. Okay, other than Russian. Um, yeah, I don't like Russian. I don't really care for Japanese literature for the most part. Yes. Um, yeah, Favorite know. genre? Favorite genre. That depends on my mood. Mm. I really like... Um, I really like nonfiction, especially along the scientific vein. I just read a book about the mitochondria. Blew my mind. It was really good. I'm fond of young adult fantasy or fantasy where that's not I am the one guy who can save us all you know it's it's just like yeah I'm, I'm tired of like there being one savior dude and there being you know it's, they're all the same what is the age range of young adult I always wondered that 18 I mean, to 25 sure like is that what YA is that the target I, I'm so old I don't I feel know like, I feel like YA's target is supposed to be like older teens but I still love YA. Okay. I mean, YA, there's there's really good stuff in them. And some of them are into their 20s. So. Best YA you've read in the last few years. Best not YA. Fantasy. Not fantasy. Not fantasy. Well, just to give us something new to talk about. Not fantasy. I don't know. My best YA is all Tamora Pierce, I think. Okay. Uh, genre that, you, that nobody could pay you to read. <laughs> no one could pay me to read. Um, probably, uh, I'm not good with aliens for the most part. Uh, Waking Gods was an exception. Ah, uh, yeah. You I, liked... I really did enjoy that. Sylvain Nouvelle. Yes. Did you read the second one? I read the second one. Is the third one out? Third one's out. Have you... Um, I haven't read it yet. Okay. Looking forward to it. We yeah, buddy read the, the last one. buddy one. read the first one. Yeah. And the first one... It's it's not something I would have picked up on my own if it hadn't been a buddy read, but... In other words, you want to pay me money for the recommendation? Or something. Okay. Um. <laughs> Just trying to make an honest buck. I enjoyed the first one. I had no interest in reading the second one, but I enjoyed the first one. I'm like that with series. Yeah, the, the second one was really good, though. I think part of the reason that I enjoyed them was that a lot of it was just so unexpected. Um, he, it, it wasn't like it wasn't the greatest writing I've ever read. No, it but it was mind blowing. Serviceable but it was, and this, yeah, it was the emails and all that stuff. Yeah, it worked. It worked. It really worked, yeah. and it was just things that happen you did not expect them to happen, and. It would go in directions, and I'd be like, oh, but where are you going to go from here? What can you do now that you've done this? The opening scenario was fantastic. Yeah. This girl's walking in the woods, yes. and she falls down on this yes. neon glowing yes. football stadium-sized, what was the word, robot? Not yeah, it was... Stone robot? Yeah. And then it goes from there, it's like, uh, I don't like sci-fi at all. No, uh, I don't either. Uh, and that worked for me um a book you think i should read a book i think you should read that's tricky because we mm. differ 
quite a bit. Um, as long as it's fiction, and as long as it's not, as long as it's literary fiction, that's limiting, very limiting. But I, I vow to you that I will try it in twenty nineteen. We started read. I started reading the Emperor's Edge to you. I don't think you really got that much into it. Oh, that was the. Uh, it was like a steampunk. That kind steampunk. See, yeah. I really like that series. But another one, alternatively, I really liked Outlander. It's now a TV series. Gabal, Gabal, Diane yeah. Gabaldon? Oh, okay. I've That's heard so many mixed things, but a, a lot of the things I heard were really good. It's, it's very a literary. Beast of a novel. People either love it or hate it. Mm hmm. And it's, I've read the first one. The first one, like, they're, they're all around 900,000 pages. Okay. The first one I've read four times, though. So that'll tell you how much I really like it. And, um, uh, okay, that's fantastic. A book that you think, I think you should read. <laughs> a book that I think you, you think, think I, I should read. <laughs> um, let's see. That's a good question. That's I, a crazy question, but do your best. <laughs> um, what has Sean ranted about lately? Mm. Let's see. For probably the book that I just returned to him that I had borrowed and not gotten around to reading. Oh, okay, well, why don't we, why don't we talk about... <laughs> oh, I'm a bad person. We're on another roll here. Oh, my gosh. Let's check Sean's Goodreads while he's gone. So, Sean is not here at the moment, and I'm going to bring up his Goodreads so that I can take a good now look at what... Now your phone back, hey? <laughs> now that I have my phone back and my life is okay again. I don't need it that badly, except I don't own a clock, so I can't wake up for work if I don't have my phone, and that's a problem. Um, what is time, really? Time is a construct, and we are all slaves to it. Did you? Were you hoping for something more... Is that what you're looking for? Sure. Okay. okay. I forgot. Sean's take on the five-star system is very different from mine. That's true. Sean, do you want to talk about our different takes on the five-star system? I'm sure you've spoken of it before. Um, please go ahead. I'll Give me your take on our take on the... Sean... Sean is more, much more willing to give five stars than I am. Mm-hmm. Sean, if, if there's... A, it's it why may... I got laid a lot more in the last decade than she did. <laughs> I'll edit that out, but that was a good one. <laughs> Open house. No. <laughs> I love my cousin. <laughs> I love your fingernails. Aren't they cute? Mm. Where'd you go? I was going for not flashy this month, and then, oops, this happened. <laughs> She's just seen, her, seen them last month. <laughs> they weren't that exciting, actually, no. Nailed it! Bam! <laughs> Gosh, Sean's puns. So, yeah, Sean's five stars. Mm. Anything, even if he finds it kind of flawed, um, if as long as he really liked it, he, it can it can get five stars. No, as long as I loved it. As long, okay, as long as he loved it. Even with flaws. Even with flaws. That I could overlook. Yes. So please continue. His four star level uh, is that is that a, a highly liked level? Would you say liked? I liked it, or I loved it, but it had flaws I couldn't overlook. Okay. So yeah. And the rest are easy. Three, two, one. There's no. There's no qualifications like that it's right <laughs> am i mansplaining my five-star system to you <laughs> well i'm a man so what the hell <laughs> i don't get the please continue said. so sean's four star from what it sounds like is like my two or three <laughs> hmm. um four stars for me is something that i really liked hmm. was quite exceptional hmm. but was flawed in such a way that Five stars for me is something that's not really going to happen. I might have two books or three books maybe in a year that hit five stars. But it has to be something that either completely challenged the way I think or just was earth shattering in the emotional level. So in other words, this video conversation has been five star. You're blowing my mind every second. (laughs) Every second. 
can't even handle this. Can't even handle this while I'm drinking. <laughs> I I have a two or three or four. Maybe up to half a dozen five star reads a month. Yeah. Books that I love. Definitely. I haven't had one two, this year. Okay. When was what was your last five star read? Gosh, I don't even remember. Well, what's my last five star read? That's a really good question. I couldn't tell you. Goodreads may know the answer, but they better. But take me a long freaking time to figure it out. And why will it take me so long? Because I utterly lack coordination at the moment, apparently. Um, at least you find. At least you have your phone. <laughs> I'm never gonna live this down. I lost my phone. It was on the shelf over there. Sean found it. <laughs> I was looking so long. Uh, life is hard. It is, isn't it? Life is hard. Thank you for caring. Is there something on here that tells you that you can you can find your order your books by stars? Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, I, I just assume so. Otherwise, Goodreads is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Yeah. She's speaking Japanese just to highlight how terrible my Japanese is. She, Lindsay Wait. is completely fluent in Japanese. What's the Japanese test called? JLPT? JLPT, yeah. You, and you've got like level blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the top level. Top level. Just saying. I mean, um. I say, Konbanwa. Hajimimashite. Did you find it? Oh, I did have a five star this year. Oh, great. <laughs> it was a day in the life of Marlon Bundo. Mm. John Oliver. Oh, is John that the gay, gay something? That's the gay bunny rabbit children's book. Did he write it? Um, his staff members wrote uh, it. Yes. Wonderful. And is that why I'm gay? Possibly. I feel like you found your bunny rabbit one day and that was it for you. And it's beautiful and it's magical and there's nothing wrong with that. But that was just this year, but I've been gay since the year you were born. You were born in 1985? Five. The year after you were born. What's your earliest memory of me? My earliest memories of you all involve me yelling at you for smoking and telling you they were cancer sticks. Yes. And and how old were you? Like five, six? I probably. I was a. I was so obnoxious. I'm Nineteen years old. You were. Question I'm the grammar of that sentence. Still obnoxious. <laughs> uh, I'm of nineteen years older than you. Alcohol makes me taller, older, Sean. <laughs> My alcohol, not yours. <laughs> um. <laughs> Are we 19 years apart? I was born in 1966. 1985, yeah, that would equal 19. I remember when you were born. I yes. don't. <laughs> and uh, what's your earliest, just, if you have no answer, we'll edit it out, but it's yeah. an interesting question. Mm -hmm. What's your earliest memory of me as a reader? Mm. I don't remember us talking about books until after you moved to japan this most last time yeah Do you no we didn't we didn't you speak never about books. came to my place where i had my books no. like in vancouver or anything so no i'd never been did to you know vancouver. that i was a big reader like did your parents yeah, my my earliest memory of you it must have been it must have been when i was talking to aunt helen your mother I think she said something about your books or you something something about you selling books or something uh, about okay. that. And I think that would have been my first um cause yeah, we didn't bond we didn't over really books had, until we didn't really even have much to say to each other for a number of reasons. Most of them distance and you know, we just, just didn't, we didn't see each, each other, other, so we didn't really have anything to and connect And you were such over. a fucking bitch about my smoking. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, you smelled I'll bad, so what out. was I supposed to do? You're stinky. Uh, did I say that was the last question? No, we should have one more, right? No, that wasn't the last question. No, so, so okay. let's, let's see. Try harder. 
<laughs> I shall. There's nothing but love here. I love my cousin. There's nothing but love here. I nothing beg to differ. <laughs> I'm picking up some other vibes. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. <laughs> we're just, we're, we have a magical relationship. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like my nails. Want to see them again? Here they are. Want <laughs> to see mine? No. No, you don't want to? Fuck you. <laughs> There's only going to be three minutes of this that I won't be editing out. <laughs> I'm going to open one of your shelves. Okay. A shelf that Crazy Cousin Book Club. We only have two in there. We didn't read a lot of books together. Okay. Cause... Well, we won't talk about that. Uh, Canada Connection. How's that? Okay. I'm going to ask you about there. two of these books. Let's see what comes up. A whole lot of those. Louise, Louise Penny. Penny. What's your, Louise what do you Penny. think about Louise Penny? I really like Louise Penny. My mom does too. Yeah, no, I've been Louise Penny. I haven't read many. We, I have them all as um, eBooks, but I don't read them very much because I'm reading them as buddy reads with my mom. Oh, and how do you and your mom do a buddy read? Not well, but um, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know how to read, or no, it's that I read really quickly, so and she doesn't. Uh, so I'll read I'll read a lot and then suddenly I'll get really busy at work and she'll be working really hard to catch up and realize she's like five chapters ahead of me so then I'll try to catch up and then I'll be way ahead of her so we're not really good at balancing it we haven't really had the conversation of let's read two chapters tonight but um, where I work is about five kilometers from where I'm living right now so in the morning I'll get up and as I start walking to work I'll call my mom on Skype and that's perfect timing time zone wise so i can talk to my mom the whole time i walk to work oh and we'll so you talk, talk about, about it on skype yeah so we'll skype in real about time what we just read you know we'll, we'll talk about our lives too she'll tell me about what she did at the gym she just li lifted 200 pounds the other week like my mother's a beast she's tiny but she's a beast but yeah no so we'll we'll, we'll buddy read things and we've been bunny reading louise penny and like um sean's not big on mystery nope. but to put it mildly. <laughs> <laughs> we buddy read an Angle the Christie. What was that one? It was um Evan. Let's let's talk about or what's what's what is about Evans or Something something Evans. Yeah, something about yep. Evans. But and it um, was so so. But at that time I didn't right. I didn't hate mysteries at that time. It yeah, happened no. later. It happened later. I don't know what, what, what you, your deal was. You said something and twisted but me. I twisted you. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame me. I read all of the I read all of Agatha Christie's novels that year, and um, it was a beautiful thing. Everyone should do it. Top three Agatha Christie novels. Ooh, tricky. Um, I haven't read that one. And then there were none. <laughs> Formerly known as Ten Little Indians, not politically correct anymore, so it's changed. I loved that one as a kid. Yeah, that was good. The murder of Mar the murder of Roger Ackroyd yes. blew my mind. That's her most literary novel, most complex. Yeah, story. it's it was when when it came out, mysteries were supposed to follow a certain formula, yeah. and she did not do she that. Broke the mold. Exactly, and it was just that was incredible. And what else? There was one other that I really really liked. Which one was it? Orient Express. Well, Orient Express was good. Orange Express is probably... Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Orange Express was good. She was just really creative. Agatha Christie was good. And you know, the thing about reading all of Agatha Christie's mystery novels in order that was also neat and mm -mm -mm. Didn't, I didn't see coming was that you could see how British society changed mm -hmm. over the decades. Just how many written. decades did she... Like, over oh, 50 years? Gosh, yeah, something like that. So you... At the beginning, it was very much, this is the high class, we have our servants, right. we have, it was still very much in that vein, but as it went along, that's kind of dying off and nobody's keeping servants anymore. And it was, it was, it was really changing. So it was really interesting to, to watch the evolution of British society mm -hmm. through these mystery novels as they went on. It was just, it was really fascinating. Last question. Mm. What is, it's a two-parter, so you can mm -hmm. do A or B. Favorite female writer or favorite book by a female writer that you haven't we haven't talked about tonight? Um, oof. I got her. I stumped her. We haven't talked about probably it would 
I think I'll, I'll go because it has to be something I haven't really talked about. I'll go with the Emperor's Edge series. We talked about the first book. Okay. That, sorry, this, that's by who? Lindsay Broker. Oh, okay. Yeah. she She's an Indies writer. She self-publishes or she she does, um, she goes through the Amazon. I don't know what their system's called, but she goes through Amazon for, mm. for putting it open to um, other, it's mostly eBooks. You can you can get physical copies, but she's mostly eBooks. But um, I just really enjoy her sense of humor. And she also has strong female protagonists. Mm-hmm. And that's that's something that's that's pretty refreshing. Um, but yeah, it's it's they're really they're really quirky and they're funny. And I like her sense of humor and, you know, where she goes with things. It's not necessarily what you're going to expect. But is she still actively ready? Very much so. She and- puts out something like a dozen books a year. And where is she based? America? Arizona. Arizona? Yeah. And how, uh, how did you find out about her? So I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian, so I started reading ebooks on Kobo because it was a Canadian company. It's, it's since been sold to Nukten, Japanese yes. company. But um, on Kobo, they, were, they offer free ebooks sometimes. And her um, Emperor's Edge series, the first three books, I think were offered really cheaply or I got the first one for free at some point. And they just kind of sat there for a while until I read the first one. And that's it. I read the first one. I was done. I just had to keep reading because it was... And I love them. The humor is great. The stories are great. I love the characterization. They just feel like real people to me. And they actually grow. And it's not like, oh, here, there's a misunderstanding. So we didn't talk about it. So it got blown out of proportion. No, the characters are actually mature enough to talk about things with each other. So it doesn't go down the same path of, oh, this happened. And I think this is what happened. But I, th- this, but I think that this is what happened. But I'm not gonna, we're not going to talk about it. So we're just going to go with our misunderstandings and let things blow out of proportion. This happened. This happened. Oh, we talked about it. Oh, problem solved. Because we actually converse like adults. That's refreshing. Wow. So, I'm glad we talk like adults. Do we? That's nice. <laughs> At least you did. Wait, the, definitely the last question. What do you like to do when you're not reading? What do I like to do when I'm not reading? Pole dance. Did you say pole dance? <laughs> My cousin's a pole dancer. I taught her everything I know. <laughs> I think we're talking about really different kinds of pole. <laughs> and uh, if somebody wanted to come to Japan to see you pole dance, where mm-hmm. should they go? Um, I don't pole dance in shows very often, mm. but the studio I dance at is in Takara no Baba. Okay. If you're interested, I mean, the teachers only speak Japanese, but let me know and I'll help you out. And would you ever consider starting your own booktube channel? No. Why? I'm way too lazy to do anything social media. But will you come back on mine someday? All the time. I don't want to edit things, so Sean okay. can do it for me. And uh, maybe next March we'll do a, a video or two about this one? Yay! I'm so excited for right. it. Thank you, my darling cousin. I love you, Sean! I love you more! Mwah! Mwah! <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.